What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today, yes, I am trying to pop these packs but they're not in packs so if you guys are watching this video on Xbox, make sure to not pop these packs, they are trying to scam you, okay? But yes, instead of popping these packs, we are going to get into some market talk and whatnot, yes, these cards are actually pretty trash but it's whatever. Um, let's see if there is any on the auction block. We got the new all Frazier, new gold bear. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff because that will be greatly appreciated. Um, let's get 100 likes in this video. We're also selling MT on Xbox as well or PS4. But uh, yeah, man, um, it looks like they dropped the content. They dropped it, but it's not actually here. So do not pop these packs. You are going to get scammed. They are not in packs. They say they are here. But I promise you, if you press Y, nothing pops up. So, if you are watching this video, make sure to listen to me and do not pop these packs, okay? Um, don't pop these packs either. These are the worst packs I've ever popped in my whole entire life. So, don't pop those either. But uh, let's get into some market talk, man. I know you guys love the market talk. We're going to talk a lot about Kareem Goat and a lot of stuff about the Prime. So, we're going to talk about that. Shaquille O'Neal's down a lot, too. That's kind of crazy. Let's talk about it. So, yeah, today, guys, um, it's interesting, I guess. I'm pretty psyched up. I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, there's a lot of weirdness going on in this game. So, if you guys don't know, they did just drop a Kareem. That is literally MJ at center with the height. So, if you guys didn't know, yeah, it's kind of crazy. So, we're going to go everything. This game is going out of whack. We're going to go over the market and whatnot. So, I want to focus on Prime and Kareem because, I don't know, Prime and Kareem is something I want to focus on. It has a lot to do with MT. So, I was thinking, what do I do? Do I get Kareem or do I do Prime? That's like my number one question right now and also MT-wise. So, you guys do know, I don't really like locking in sets. I think it is a big waste. So now, I have most of the Prime completed. I could get Kawhi right now. I could just sell Bull Bull and get him. Now, is it worth getting these cards right this second? Okay, so now, if you think about it, these cards are all usable. Lamar, Luka, Paul George. I think Luka's probably going to get an Evo. This Lamar Odom is pretty decent as well. So now, when should you sell these cards to make MT? When are you going to lose MT? So now, here's the thing. People say Super Packs, bro, you're going to lose MT. Super Packs do nothing, in my opinion, okay? All Super Packs do is really drop the pink diamonds and Amis and diamonds to nothing, Okay. Super packs, yeah, the Opals are going to drop a little bit, then they're going to rise right away. Yesterday, Paul George was going for around 650,000 MT. Now, Kawhi, I say he drops to 400,000-ish, and then he drops again. I mean, he goes right back up once this last mystery player does come out, which is possibly this week. This mystery player is going to drive every single part in this set a lot up. So, now, who could be this player? It could be LeBron Goat. It could be Giannis Goat. You could disagree. I don't care. It could be Bill Russell Goat. If it's Bill Russell Goat, he's going to be insane. I don't know who it is. It says small forward, power forward. It's obviously not true because the last prime set wasn't a small forward. I, it wasn't a small forward, power forward. So, all I'm saying is I really feel like i rather go for the prime because I think Paul George, Luka Lamar, and Kawhi Leonard are definitely more, more I like usable, more usable than... Lewis, Shaq, and Butler, in my opinion. I don't think that Shaq's worth it. Butler's decent. All these cards are trash. Weber's decent. I'm going to say this right now, okay? If you want to make MT, I would like to focus on the Prime set. And also, as you guys know, people are, um, what's it called, controlling these prices. I'm going to go over to Rashad Lewis price. 1.4, 1.3, 1. You can see, bro, there's a lot of people bidding at 1 mil for Rashad Lewis. So, it puts... This set at around a 1.8 mil MT, okay? Now, we look at the Prime set. This set's going to cost around 500, let's just say 5, 900, let's say 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, about 1.8-ish mil as well. 
Now, these cards, in my opinion, you're going to put him at small forward, him at point guard, him at shooting guard, him at power forward, and then this guy has got to be a center. I'm guessing this guy right here is going to be a very OP center. Of who? I don't know. But then the mystery player, in my opinion, is going to be a small forward, power forward, a point guard, small forward. It's going to be something very OP. And then again, I think we might have flash this week because we haven't had flash in a couple weeks. We're going to either have flash or prime week. So now, these cards, in my opinion, you're going to make a lot of MT off these cards. You can make a lot of MT off these cards right now. If you want to make a lot of MT, scoop them now and wait till, what's it called, drops. Wait till the next one drops. Their prices will rise like crazy within the first hour. So if you guys definitely know Prime is dropping, let's say at 11 o'clock Eastern, you should probably put up your cards at 10 Eastern because then you'll be one of the first cards to sell these cards because you're going to make a lot of MT that way. Because people are going to be rushing to do the Prime set if they don't have the cards. They'll be like, yo, I need this card. I'm buying out for 500, 600K. So yeah, that's exactly why I say you can make a lot of MT off the Prime cards. Now, let's see if these packs are here. They're still not. All right, here we go. Let's pop some packs. We just gave you some market talk. Now we're going to do some packs. Let's go. First pack is a bronze, man. We got Rudy Gobert packs. We got all these cards and packs. Just wish me luck, man. These cards, these packs, they've been terrible all year. They've been absolutely terrible. Um, not these packs, really. Honestly, these packs have treated me well. I've gotten a couple opals out of these. What packs suck are the takeover packs, bro. 17,000 MT, okay? 17,000 MT for one pack that guarantees you a diamond. That's all it guarantees you. It doesn't give you anything else besides a freaking diamond card. And I'm sick of diamond cards. Diamond cards are straight garbage, okay? They are not, like, literally Galaxy Opals at this point. They drop everything Galaxy Opal, okay? Everything that they drop is Galaxy Opal. So what makes you think that anybody's going to use a diamond card this day and age? They're dropping no names as Galaxy Opals. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I just don't understand their logic. It's pretty much everything 99 or you just take L's. But uh, hopefully these packs treat me right. They treated me right last week. Packs this week, man, my luck has been absolutely terrible. My pack luck has went down the drain ever since. And it's been kind of tough on me because losing MT and whatnot kind of sucks. I'm already four packs deep, and uh, yeah, it's kind of frustrating, man. Let's see. Are they lagging still? Let's pop one of these 4,500 packs. Maybe they're going to do me better. I don't know, but those other packs are just not deadly. They're really not deadly. It shows they're in these packs. I haven't pulled any of the new cards yet. There is. Is there a diamond? There's Greg Monroe. There doesn't show they're in these packs, but for some reason, they show in these packs. I, it's just a glitch. It's annoying because 2K really can't fix their game. We haven't pulled anything but silvers and golds. This game is really trash, man. Their, their packs, their content, everything has just really been terrible. Like, those takeover packs, whoever ate probably bought VC worth. I do not buy VC. I will never buy VC. Maybe it's all next year because, in my opinion, man, VC is literally just throwing your money away. If you really want to buy anything, it's probably way better worth to buy MT. And no, you're not going to get banned. Millions of people bought MT. You really think you're going to get banned? It's not going to happen. There we go. We got an Amethyst pull. But it just proves that it doesn't sh look like there's anything in packs. Because we got an Amethyst that is a current series 22 player. And yeah, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So these packs don't make any sense. I'm going to stop popping them. Talk a little bit more about the Prime and the Kareem. So... Like I said, man, the sets remind me of each other, okay? Like, the sets are very similar. That's the way I see them. Um, let's go over it again. So, like I said, you're going to make a lot more MT off this. Rashad Lewis is probably going to drop. It's the, it's hard to tell. He might go up. He might go down. I think he's going to drop because all the other cards are dropping because they're not too rare. So, I can see Butler dropping to a buyout soon. Shaq dropping to 120. And him going to, like, 1.3. This set's probably going to cost 1.5 mil in, in, like, a month. So it's up to you, man. I honestly think the Prime's more worth it with the, th with the five Opals that are going to be way more usable than these. Because, you know, you got to think about Showtime, man. These cards aren't that usable. You're not going to use Shaq, bro. Honestly, this Shaq is not that good. Yeah, he, he just can't shoot. You need a, set a shooting center, bro. Everyone could shoot besides him. So I'm going to say stay away from him. Butler is decent. Rashad Lewis is not that good, bro. If you verse him against Tracy McGrady, Michael Jordan, GOAT. He's going to get destroyed. He's not fast enough. He's decent. But yeah, that's really all we got for the video, man. I'm just talking about some MT methods, some prime sets and whatnot. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one, guys. Peace.